This video is a part of the series about Aeronasic data preprocessing using the GenXplain platform. You can now see the general overview of the preprocessing steps discussed in the series. In this video, we focus on the quality check step. Please check the description box to find the links to other parts about importing data into the platform and read mapping quantification steps. During sequencing, Fragments in the RNA sample are processed into a sequence called read. The sequencer determines the nucleotide basis at each position in a sequence with a certain level of confidence and writes the result into FASTQ output. There might be cases when the quality of the result is low or is even generated with errors. It is therefore necessary to understand, identify and exclude errors that may impact the interpretation of the later analysis. FASTQ files provide quality scores encoded by ASCII characters for each base in the sequence. Here in this example, the equal sign encodes a quality score of 28. The quality score can be interpreted as the probability that the corresponding base call is incorrect. This table shows how score values are related to the error probabilities. It is preferable to have most values higher than 20. Fortunately, there is no need to manually check every single score in a file. There exist tools that summarize FASTQ content for easier inspection. Let's see how to use such a tool inside the GenXplain platform. First, select RNA-Seq on the start page of the platform. Click RNA-Seq preprocessing, then alignment of RNA-Seq data, and finally alignment quality assessment. The Quality Assessment tool opened. This tool works with a raw FASTQ file or aligned reads in SAM or BAM formats. Let's select FASTQ format. Now the input file should be provided. Open the repository panel and go to the Data tab. Select FASTQ file that needs to be checked from the data tree and put it into the tool. The last parameter is just a path to the output PDF with plots. Choose the right folder and give the output a fitting name. Hit the Run button to start the analysis and then it will take some time for the tool to complete the task. When the task is finished, the output PDF file should be generated with a similar plot. The upper part shows how often each base was called for each position in the read. It can be used to detect the presence of adapters, overrepresented bases, PCR artifacts, and other sequencing errors. In this particular example, the region at the start of the reads seems to be an adapter sequence. The lower half shows the abundance of base call quality scores at the different positions in the read. Here, the quality is around 40 at the starting positions, but some reads seem to have lower scores towards their ends. The tool can also take aligned reads as an input. This is how the result looks for a BAM file. The same plots are generated separately for the aligned reads in the left column and for the aligned reads in the right column. While previous examples were rather unproblematic, this case raises some concern. The proportion of each base is expected to remain relatively constant over the length of the read. Moreover, Complementing AT and CJ bases should show matching lines. Here we see a clear imbalance on the base proportion. Sometimes experimental setup may explain the proportion differences. If there is no explanation for unexpected base content and quality scores are also low for significant number of reads, it could be better to discard such samples. In cases when only part of the sequence is questionable, the reads can be trimmed. Please check the video about read alignment for more details on further processing steps.